Hi everyone, Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks tech tip. This one is about sheet metal. I have a sheet metal part here and it's got a simple hole in it, so I'm going to flatten it. And it gives me an error. It contains features that can't be unbent. Well, I could go through and say, well, which feature is it? In this particular example, it's not hard to guess. But just to confirm, I'm going to suppress it, and then I'm going to try flattening it. And sure enough, it flattens. So there is something wrong with this with this cut extrude. I'm going to unsuppress it here. Now, if I take a close look at it from a top view, I can I can't see. I can only see one edge, and if I look at it from a bottom view as well, I can also only see one edge, which indicates to me that, yeah, look at that. The, the cut is, is going straight down as opposed to normal to the face, which means I can't laser cut this, which means it's going to add a lot of cost to my, uh, to my part, assuming I can even manufacture this with that, uh, with that angle on there. That angle isn't critical. I, in fact, it's not, even in, it's not even desirable. So it's just because that happened to be how I applied the feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this option for a normal cut. And what this does is, you'll see now if I look at it from a top view, I get both edges. The edge, this, this represents the edge of my sketch. So if I look at that, if I were to line it up. So I do have clearance for that. But what it does is that when that intersects the sheet metal, it creates a cut that's now normal too. So now if I were to flatten this, it now flattens without any problems. I also have another example here. Uh, part here. And what it is is it's, I don't know, I guess it's some kind of edging and I want to create a miter cut. So I've created a 45 degree cut on it. And I'm going to look at the flat pattern of that. Now you'll notice that, well, there are no errors. This isn't the correct profile. It's got all these sharp edges and straight edges so that's not what I'm after, because if I look at the at the uh, at the folded final version, this is it's a smooth continuous curve. So what I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on my flat pattern here, not right clicking on the the folder, but on the flat pattern feature itself, and edit the feature, and I'm going to uncheck this simplify bends. When I do that and I rebuild with a control Q, I get a nice continuous curve.